fellow citizens, distinguished gentlemen of the press. Since the conclusion of the APC primaries in Abuja on the 7th and the 8th of June 2022, while I've received an almost endless stream of visitors and shared various impressions, I've not made any official public statements until today. As the main constituency and core group that I'm accountable to, I deem it appropriate to come home, report back, and share a few thoughts with you first. Please permit me, if this is all I can share today, I'm sure that by God's grace, we will have other opportunities hereafter to elaborate on the rich bread and royal dainties of Asha. You say, what does that mean? The rich bread and the royal dainties of Asha constitute the secret of Asha's blessing, favor, anointed work with God and over his enemies and his strength. Please give me Genesis chapter 49 verse 20 to see the blessing that Jacob pronounced upon Asher. And then we'll go to Deuteronomy 33 and see what blessing Moses pronounced upon the tribe of Asher. This is what is making this ministry take and strong. God has given us the word for now. Bread from Asha shall be rich, and he shall yield royal dainties. Can I hear amen? amen. Deuteronomy 23, 24, and 25. And of Asha he said, Asha is most blessed of sons. Let him be favored by his brothers and let him dip his foot in oil. Your sandals shall be iron and bronze as your days. So shall your strength be. And so you have to be patient with me till that time when I come to break bread with you. Is that all right with you? Let's roll. On February 19, 1957, Senator John F. Kennedy, the future president of the United States of America, said, Mothers may still want their favorite sons to grow up to be president, but they do not want them to become politicians in the process. In the course of my lifelong commitment to serving my nation, Nigeria, I have found these words telling. Yet, I remain convinced now more than ever that the quest to serve our beloved nation, Nigeria, has been a worthy adventure for a worthy cause. As a presidential aspirant in the special convention of the All Progressive Congress, APC, it has been a great honor to be the standard bearer of the message of a new Nigeria, a Nigeria that works for every Nigerian. I congratulate the winner of the APC presidential primaries, Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, for his victory. I didn't hear you clap there. His emergence as a flag bearer and presidential candidate of the APC is a testament to his significant contributions to the cause of the Southwest, as well as his labor towards the formation and establishment of the APC, as I've said in times past. I therefore extend best wishes to him as he proceeds on the campaign trail 
towards the 2023 general elections. I didn't hear you clap. Thank you. To my supporters across the nation and in the diaspora, I thank you for your unalloyed support despite the challenges leading up to the primaries. Our heads remain unbowed because we did not compromise on the values that are integral to building a new Nigeria. For us, the mean has always been as important as the end. This is why we confidently wear our zero votes as a badge of zero tolerance for a certain kind of politics. And if you are wondering what is the basis of our confidence, Lend me your ears. Our confidence is rooted in Daniel chapter 4, verse number 17, especially in the message translation. Daniel 4, 17, the message translation. It reads, and I quote, The angels announced this decree. The holy watchmen bring this sentence so that everyone living we know that the high God rules human kingdoms. He arranges kingdom affairs however he wishes and makes leaders out of losers. I would like you to read it again in case you didn't hear me well. Because when these things happen, you will recall that you are told so. The angels announced this decree. The holy watchmen bring this sentence so that everyone living will know that the high God rules human kingdoms. He arranges kingdom affairs however he wishes and makes leaders out of losers. It is to Almighty God I will ultimately give account and it is in him I will continually trust Despite what may today appear to be a setback, there is still a cause and there is still a nation to transform. This is not the work of just one man or woman or just one party, but the calling upon every Nigerian worthy of the name. In the words of Martin Luther King Jr., it is my earnest prayer that the good law will bless Nigeria with leaders not in love with money, but in love with justice. Not in love with publicity, but in love with humanity. Leaders who can subject their particular egos to the pressing urgencies of the great cause of freedom. May we all find it within ourselves to become these leaders, no matter the temptation to be less than that. This is the moment where those leaders must begin to revive the dreams of our founding patriots, the dreams of a Nigeria strong and united, though tribes and tongues may differ, and the dreams of a Nigeria where no one is oppressed, no matter which part of the country they come from and live, and no matter how they choose to worship God. This is the moment we have begin to live up to the ideals etched in our founding creeds, the ideals of a Nigeria, where every Nigerian has a seat at the table of nationhood, and the ideals of a Nigeria where peace and justice reign. This is the moment where we begin to build a bridge between the dreams of our past, the realities of our present, and the visions of our future towards a new Nigeria. A Nigeria where every man or woman and every boy or girl can live up to his, his or her full potential and be all that they were created to be. I remain audaciously confident that a new Nigeria is possible and that upon the foundation values of integrity and incorruptibility, 
Nigeria will no doubt become a cutting edge nation in my lifetime. A nation that will one day be the peace, progress, prosperity, and possibilities capital of the world. I remain committed to working towards this course in the days ahead in whatsoever capacity God and the good people of Nigeria so choose. Thank you for listening. God bless you all. And may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.